200,000 nurses that are missing from the healthcare system. We could see another 20,000 suspended because they're not vaccinated. This is an urgent issue. How are you going to fix it right now? Okay. Right now, what we're looking is we uh, don't exclude any kind of financial incentives to bring back nurses in uh, our network. Because right now, we cannot train in few months new nurses. It takes years. So uh, we uh, are planning to have a very, very important plan. It will be costly, but we need to convince nurses to come back. And when, when can we see that? Uh, I would say, I hope, in the next week. The clock is ticking. You need 4,000 to 5,000 nurses from private agencies or retired. Money talks, Mr. Okay. What we need is, we, the, the Premier has been very clear, we need over 4,000 nurses to come back in the system. They can come back from the private, they can come back from the retirement, they can come back from agencies. So. That, that's what we need right now. Well, that, what's your deadline to get those nurses? Well, first we need to put the plan together because it will be a combination of premium. It could, could be a combination of many things that the nurses have been asking. This is what we will deliver next week. We spoke with the Order of Nurses, which is actually having a press conference uh, later this morning. Yeah. And they say that there are places where they don't have force over time. They don't have uh, turnover. That it's, it's, it's as much a question of salaries as it is about good management, and there's bad I agree. management uh, going on. Is there a way that you can fix that? Well, that's exactly the point. We said that it's not always premium, it's the way we manage those people. We've seen, I've seen in, uh, in certain, uh, for example, take at the Jewish, take at the Cusum, take in most of the Anglophone system, they don't have a, a temps supplementaire, they don't have because they are managed properly. And this is what we need to put overall in the system. That's the solution. It, it, as if now nurses' unions have the full power of negotiations. You're basically, the door is open, we'll pay you as much as necessary to get back 4,000 to 5,000 nurses. We need you now. It's now. So basically you're saying, I, I've got the money, I'll pay you. How much it will cost, how long it will last? Okay, so let me distinguish. First, we negotiated uh, better terms, better work condition, better financial terms, and that's the role of the President of the Treasury Board. And so there are, once the deals are applied, there will be better condition for uh, all those involved in the uh, public sector, okay. namely okay. nurses. Okay. We okay. have a, a difficult situation right now where we need some people to catch up and come back uh, to help out, and we are looking at providing monetary incentive in order to help do that. So and that will cost uh, a, f a few hundred millions, depending where they come from, at which time, uh, who, who is it that's coming to help, over what period? There's a lot of assumption. We're still working on this.